Hello, the chairman here again, and welcome to this season ending uh, recap video. And uh, yeah, let's start with those two fixtures at the end of the season. Uh, first game, we won 3 0. Uh, uh, Augsburg at home, really dominant performance. Uh, Sven Bender gave us a lead by Herder in the corner, and then there was two nice goals for Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. And yeah, Augsburg uh, didn't get even a shot on target, so really good win for us. Uh, and the last game we lost against uh, Leipzig again, this time away game 1 0. Uh, Omer Damari gave them the uh, winning goal in 66 minutes and uh, we were really poor and uh, yeah there was young guys Stankovic, uh, Vadala, Burnic, Vigal, Kaya, all those those young um, high potential guys in the lineup and because the title was gone to uh, Bayern because they didn't lose uh, there was no point the cap to Schalke 16 points, so uh, there was no point of uh, taking so seriously on those last two games. But today we are talking about our players and how they did perform in the league season this year. Let's start with our goalkeepers. Our goalkeepers, let's put it on all sides there. Uh, we had, had have four goalkeepers, but three, three of them did play in the first uh, this season. Uh, Sergio Romero was the number one. He ha uh, he was really good. His, uh, his attributes. If we put on goalkeeper defend, uh, only one to not being that good is first touch, which is nine, and even that is not bad. And if we put it on. Uh, uh, sweeper key for defend uh, support uh, the only attribute that won't be that good is first touch of course um, he's not that basic guy so uh, accuration is only 10 but if we put it on defend uh, all the attributes this part uh, first touch is really good so he's really good goalkeeper played uh, almost every game for the games uh, for this season, average rating 6.99 is really good. Uh, yeah, gonna stay with us next season, of course. He's only two star player, but all, all of you know that those stars don't mean everything. Uh, Roman Purhi probably gonna stay with backup. Uh, he, his squad status is set to rotation. Uh, he didn't mind to be back up for Romero most of the season. Uh, don't have any potential left, so if we look, he's preferred uh, as a sweeper keeper. If we put it on defend, uh, really good attributes. Concentration uh, is a bit low. If we put it on goalkeeper, uh, first touch is the lowest attribute. Uh, if sweeper keeper support... Uh, or was it defend? Yeah, only attributes are that first touch and concentration that he's lacking a bit. But still, 25 years old, uh, good personality. Maybe gonna use him uh, with those youngsters in future. Uh, good valued guy, low wage, uh, played five games. 6.92 uh, 6 average rating, really good. Uh, for the ad average rating, Roman Feidenweller was the best, but he only played three games. Uh, a bit high wage, uh, old guy. His contract is ending this season, so I'm gonna let him go. Let's start with those who played much. Uh, Socrates, 27 years, the, the 43 games, 3 goals, 3 assists, 14 key passes, uh, 11 yellow and uh, yellow cards, 
one play of the match, 7.22 average rating. Uh, have two years left on his contract, he's really good. Um, good solid goalkeeper, 27 years old and he's gonna stay with us hopefully for the next season also. Then we have M Mats Hummels, he's wanted at the moment and really wanted to uh, change club in the, some bigger one. Uh, also 27 years old and he, he is the best uh, defender in our squad. Also played uh, 43 games, 5 goals, 3 assists, 18 key passes, uh, 10 yellow and 1 red card, 2 play of the match, uh, uh, 7.30 average rating. He is on high wage, he had 3 years left, in, left of his contract and hopefully he's gonna stay with us he's the role model of for those young guys and he's really good uh, good personality so he's good on those tutoring jobs also Pavel Kaderapek uh, that right back I bought last year he's he he had really cracking season this this season uh, 24 years old old uh, Czech international, 30 games for four from bench, only one goal but 18 assists, 44 key passes, most of all of our defenders, uh, 5 yellow and 1 red card, 3 player of the matches, 7.50 average rating, he had also for uh, 3 years of his contract left, uh, valued only 10 million, uh, 47,000 <coughs> per week, with his wage and if we look his stats they are really good. Uh, a bit lacking on those marking but yeah for those mentals and physicals he is really good. One of the best in league. Then we have Aswen Bender who turned it slightly on that uh, <coughs> defender position for this year. Uh, especially when we played on that five men in back. Uh, but most of he he's good on that uh, central midfield area, ball winning, box, uh, box to box, roaming playmaker, those types of <coughs> roles. Uh, Sven got 25 starts, 6 on bench, 2 goals, 3 assists, uh, 31 key passes, a bit low key passes, but yet good uh, pass. Uh, Pass completion radio, there are 5 yellow cards, 7.05 average rating, have year left on his contract, hopefully we could uh, seal a new contract for him, maybe a one year extension, uh, he's really good and uh, German international also. Then we have Matthias Kinter, uh, he's also uh, can play multiple positions. Uh, mostly, I used him as central defender, uh, three-star player. Uh, Twenty-three starts, six on bench, four goals, one assist. Only eight key passes, but he's central defender, so uh, don't really <clears throat> need to have those key passes. One yellow, one red card. Three play of the matches, seven point twenty-three average rating. Really good season, also. He had that low wage, uh, three years uh, left on his contract. Uh, <clears throat> surely gonna use him um, also in future, and he is one of our talented young players. Then if we have um, uh, Marcel Smelzer, who wanted to join a bigger club, uh, I turned down the contract <clears throat> offer for him. He said uh, that he could stay wanted to first team football i gave gave it that to him he was a um <clears throat> he's <clears throat> rated as best left uh, defender at the moment in club hopefully uh, he could stay he had one year left on his contract and <clears throat> i hope i can uh, seal a new contract and uh, that he could have a decent season next year uh, played only 21 matches because I I had that other German who I did sold in sold in um, January 
and uh, I bring Jose Gaia, but, but we can for him next. Uh, 21 games, 6 assists, no goals, uh, 21 key passes, really decent season, 7.43 uh, average rating, and yeah, one year left on his contract, try to knock him that extension in the summer. Then, if we jump over Felix, we have Jose Gaia, did came for that big money, 22.5 million, transfer from Manchester United 20 years old and already that four star four star guy if he looks his attributes they are really good uh, lacking a bit on those mentals but uh, cracking on those physicals and uh, those defensive attributes also play it uh, 12 games <clears throat> one goal one assist 14 key passes 7.52 average rating and have four year <clears throat> four years left on his contract and he's uh, the second highest earner earner of our defenders and valued the second most also then we have Felix Paslak young right defender midfielder slash attacking midfielder Felix can play all of those positions had lo have a lot of potential left only two and a half star player at the moment played 17 uh, games and three of them uh, three and also three of uh, bench uh, benchmarkings there and three assists really good season uh, highly rated targeted him him to be a good guy in future only seven average rating but uh, he's young 17 year old guy if we look his stats they are now already now really good if we put it on complete Complete wing back attack, uh, flair, uh, but a bit lacking on those uh, mental attributes. But hey, he's only 17 year old. Then uh, Hong, young Goran Stankovic, another uh, uh, young guy, 20 years old, and he had also uh, many positions that he can play. But I use him um, mostly on that central defender because his height and and his defensive attributes uh, i think he can be really good also in future not that much of uh, potential there but but really solid uh, solid games uh, six times he <clears throat> made that appearance and uh, two of them uh, two two more in bench uh 7.10 average rating that slovenian guy i think he's good and the flop is of course Gonzalo Rodriguez. I don't even know why did I why I did buy him. Uh, only eight appearance, four from bench, one goal, six point eight nine average rating, uh, two point eight million value. I paid eight uh, five million for him. Uh, yeah, he he was the flop. Hopefully we can sell him at the summer. At least gonna get that. Uh, 5 million back for him then uh let's look our midfielders slash defensive midfielders uh there are a lot of those defenders also let's start with Ilkay Gundogan a 25 year old uh, get that injury at the end of the season is five weeks off played for the games two goals for assists 123 key passes he was really good on those and he's really really under underrated guy in our team makes really good things on pitch and i like that guy a lot and hopefully we can seal a contract in extension in the summer for him 7.21 uh, average rating uh evaluated uh, 24 and half million and he's of course German those uh, players we need a lot then we have uh, if we don't look more gross yet uh, we did look Sven Bender we looked those there. then we have this young guy this is really good guy I like him a lot uh, hopefully I don't butcher his name uh, Dennis Burnic uh, 17 years old, two-star player, got that four-star potential. 28 games, seven subs, 
substitute appearances, one goal, seven assists, only 58 key passes, but hey, he's 17 year old guy. If we look his stats, uh, solid, solid blue on those attributes there. If we put, and his mainly position is that DM, but he can play natural on that <laughs> central midfield. If we look, put it on, on him, that deep lying playmaker, uh, the worst attribute is actually off the ball 11 and teamwork 11 for age of 17 that's really really good good for him and hopefully next year he can step uh, one step forward he had two years uh, left on his contract and only valued 2.5 million next year is gonna be cracking for him then we have Julian Weigel, he's 20 years old, he had also a slightly that potential left there, 19 and 14 for those at, um, <coughs> appearances, he played, played a lot. Uh, for that note, he got only 51 key passes, so he's not that creative type of player, more of that uh, breaking uh, passes and uh, tackling and... Um, making that nasty job but still he scored three goals for assist only seven rating but uh he's really good so on almost six million his value he is really good uh, um and his attributes are also really good he is gonna stay in with us also then we have hendrik mikitarian at uh, 27 years old two point uh, two and a half star guy Played uh, uh, 34 games, 20 on bench, 4 and 4, 74 key passes, uh, 7 average rating. He was poor. Uh, I didn't find uh, for role Hendrik this season. He played, uh, like it, I said, a lot of uh, sub appearances, 77,000, 10 million valued, one year left on his contract. Uh, it's sad to say, but probably Hendrik is going in summer. Hopefully I managed to get decent amount of money for him. Uh, really don't see him at the first team at the moment. Uh, then we have Marcus Hendriksen here. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I have mixed feelings for him. Uh, he had uh, some solid attributes for that. Uh, advanced playmaker he had good attributes on that only two star player I think uh, if I find good role for him and good guys to play with him he's gonna be really good only 22 uh, three years old uh, made 17 appearances nine on bench one goal three assists uh, not that not that good season 7.16 um, probably gonna give him one more season and if he's not managed to do it then I'm gonna sell him attacking midfielders. There we have Marco Royce. What a cracking season Marco had. He is most definitely our best player. 26 years old. Old and uh, yeah, had that uh, bad injury for, uh, but now he's only 12 days away. He, he had, uh, he missed that uh, last uh, month, month and a half. Uh, of those games uh, 30 games 28 starting 21 goals uh, 12 as 62 key passes one yellow only 7.66 average rating really good uh, I see let a new contract for him 170,000 per week he's worth all of that money uh, 39 million for his value and 2020 when his contract expires then, if we look, we have Jonas Hoffman. I started to uh, try to sell this guy, but at the end of the season, he turned out to be one of the best guys on that right attacking midfield position. His attributes aren't that uh, that that different, that special, but he can score. He made six goals, um, seven goals. Uh, two assists and those seven goals were really good and his average rating 7.43 is really good he had two years of his contract left and he's valued 8 million he's unhappy at the moment uh, then we have Andrea Zivkovic 
Uh, the first season was good. If we look his stats, uh, first season 18 games, 4 goals, 7 average rating. This season only 9 games, 1 goal, 6.7 average rating. Uh, at the start of the season, I, I did say that this, con this is going to be his uh, breakthrough season, but it wasn't actually. Uh, hopefully next year will be better. He's battling with Hoffman. Hoffman that right attacking midfield position. And uh, yeah, hopefully those two guys can uh, contribute with, uh, with those big games. Uh, Zivkovic got that potential to be a really good good. Uh, uh, attacking midfielder on that right right hand side <laughs> then we have Pablo Piatti who is also unhappy because I I, I don't have uh, haven't played him that much only two star player played only um, 12 games two goals yeah <coughs> sorry yeah uh, next season uh, probably should give him more chances Chances for for the money I did pay him 10 million those five games two goals is not good enough uh, But mostly it was because of Royce had that cracking season 21 goals So it's hard to put Piatti on field when Royce is scoring every game uh, Then we had Guido Vadala young guy did game in uh, January He's gonna be our attacking midfielder. He had that potential to be a leading guy for that position. Did play nine games, two assists, <coughs> only 13 key passes. Uh, but uh, it's hard to say nothing about him uh, more than that he had that ability until I see more of him. Then we have uh, Jakub Plasikovski. Wanted to leave, I said yes, you can go at the end of the season. Hopefully we managed to get good amount of money he, for him. He played only 5 games, 3 goals. Uh, average rating is good because 3 goals in 5, five games is not bad. But he's old and uh, uh, he had a lot of wage. So I wanted to get rid of, rid of him. Then we had Tammo Harder. Play it at three games, two goals. <clears throat> yeah, don't see him, see him to be anything special. Hopefully, we could get rid of. Yeah, his contract is ending at the summer, so he's leaving also. Then we have strikers. <clears throat> Actually, there is only three guys left to talk about. Let's start with Lucas Boye. He was poor, <coughs> and he was poor, and uh, yeah, he was poor. Uh, yeah, I don't know, don't have anything else to say about him. He was really poor. Only eight goals, thirteen games. No, well, that sounds really good, but if we look, uh, Marvin Ducks was the <coughs> scored same amount of goals, and. Uh, yeah, I expected uh, more from Boye than than Dux, but uh, I don't know. They are both both probably gonna leave leave this. I actually said to Boye that he can leave at the summer, so it's interesting to see what kind of money I'm gonna get him. Uh, what did I pay for him? I did pay six million, so he had been really poor. And Marvin Dux is that young. <coughs> <clears throat> at the um, advanced forward type of guy could finishing make good goals I don't know I'm probably gonna sell him or maybe I could keep him one season more he had that contract still left so so need to, uh, it it depends what kind of guy I can bring in so then we have Pierre Emerick Aubameyang this season wasn't that good that, that the last season, 22 goals. This season he scored 17, 7.57 average rating. A slight better average rating, but, but score a bit less. But hey, he had a really good season this year also. Uh, how many games that, that is? 
24 starts, 11 substitute appearances, 19 goals, 8 assists. Uh, and he had three years of his contract left. Hopefully, hopefully I can uh, keep him. There is a lot of interest on those big sides. It will it will take 60, 70 million to to get him out of here. So <laughs> yeah, hopefully we manage to bring some guys in 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 the next season. Uh, if we look, if I look our second team, uh, so that by potential, there is Andres Schwab, 15 years old. He had good potential, but we have those defenders, so not probably gonna give him chance on the first team. Then we have Regis Magenno. He's some somebody I probably gonna give some chances on that shadow striker position because that is what our attacking midfielder is uh, at least for those friendlies at the beginning of the season he had also that potential there and then there is i don't know there is not many players that i can bring for the youth team uh, but hopefully there is some big signings if we look our uh, transfer budget 151 million and we have a uh, 16 <clears throat> 600,000 for that. Oh, it's almost a million more. We can 800,000 for wages. So money money is not an issue, but um, I would like to build up our team for position by position, not spending money for yeah, well. That I said, not spending money for stupid signings, but there, then there is three stupid signings in the first team squad, so... <laughs> yeah. But that is the recap of this, this year's and this season. And uh, I think we probably end up... Uh, we'll play that Super Cup game next year also, because we were second in league and Bayern won, won the league. I don't know, did they win the cup or isn't it that played even yet? So, yeah, probably gonna be that Super Cup game or the first game in league next season. So, yeah, if you like, please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you are new in my channel. It will help my channel to grow and uh, uh, for that reason more of people can find my channel if there are a lot of subscriptions and uh, likes and shares. P please read, retweet my tweets in the Twitter. Uh, you can see uh, my Twitter account on the banner which is around somewhere up left. Uh, and yeah, I'm rambling again, but thank you for watching. I'm the chairman. We see you next time. Auf Wiedersehen.